In this question, we are given with two straight lines, L1 and L2. And we are given with the equation of L1, which is 5x plus 10y equals 8. Line L2 is perpendicular to L1, and it passes to a point with coordinates 8, 6. And then L2 also crosses the x-axis at some point A and intersects a straight line with equation x equals negative 3 at point B. And we are trying to find the area of triangle AOB. Let's go ahead and break down this problem into small pieces and see what we get. So first of all, we are given with the equation of line L1, which is 5x plus 10y equals 8. So we have equation 5x plus 10y equals 8. From this line, we can find the gradient of this line. So this is L1. And we are finding the gradient of this line. So gradient of L1 is equal to, it can be found by dividing the coefficient of x and coefficient of y, negative coefficient of x, divided by coefficient of y. So that is negative 5 over 10, and that's negative 1 over 2. This is just one method of finding the gradient. The other way that is mostly used is you rearrange this equation in the form of y equals mx plus c. If you do that, we'll get 10y is equal to 8 minus 5x. Then divide both sides by 10. So we get y is equal to 8 over 10 minus 5 over 10x. And that's the same as minus 5 over 10 is minus 1 over 2x. And we have plus 8 over 10, which is 4 over 5. And if you compare it with y equals mx plus c, the gradient is negative 1 over 2. So I've given you two methods to find the gradient of line L1. So you can use any of them. OK. Now, the next thing that we are given with is that there is a line L2, which is perpendicular to line L1. If two lines are perpendicular, the slope product for these two lines is always equals to negative one. That's the formula for two perpendicular lines. So if, the, if you have two perpendicular lines, their slope product or the gradient product is equal to negative one. So we know the gradient of line one, which is negative one over two. And we can find the gradient of line two by using this formula. So negative one over two times slope of line two, slope or gradient of line two is equal to negative one. And from here, we'll get the gradient of line two as two. Because if you multiply negative one with negative two, we'll get two. So we got the gradient of line two. And we know that this line passes through point eight comma six. So now we are trying to find the equation of line L2. And why we are trying to find the equation of line L2? Because we are also given with that line L2 crosses the x-axis at some point, And it also intersects with line x equals negative 3 at some point B. And we are trying to find the area of triangle AOB. So for this, we need the equation of line L2. And let's try to find the equation of line L2. Let's assume the equation of line L2 is y equals mx plus c. We know that this line passes through point 8, comma 6. So we know the value of x and y here. And we also know the slope of this line or gradient of this line is 2. So let's plug in these three values here and find the value of c. So if I plug y equals 6, m equals 2, x is equal to 8, and plus c. So from here, we'll get 6 is equal to 16 plus c, or 
6 minus 16 is equal to C or C is equal to negative 10. So we know C is equal to negative 10. We know the slope is 2. So we get the equation of line L2. So the equation of line L2 is y equals m, which is 2x and plus c. c value is minus 10, so minus 10. So that is the equation of line L2. OK, so we're done with first point. L1 has equation from which we found the gradient of line L1. And by using that, we found the gradient of line L2. And from there, we knew that it passes through point 8 comma 6. So by using that, we found the value of C and therefore we got the equation of line L2. Now let's go ahead with next point. That L2 crosses the x-axis at point A. Let's try to draw what we are given with. So we have the coordinate plane and the origin of the coordinate axis is at O. So this point here is O. And we know the equation of line L2, which is 2x minus 10 is equal to y. It passes the x-axis at point A. So any point on x-axis is always in the form of x comma 0. So some value of x comma 0. That means to find point A, we can plug y equals 0 in this equation of L2, and we will get the value of x. So let's plug in 0 here. So if you plug in 0 in equation y equals 2x minus 10, what do we get? 0 is equal to 2x minus 10, or x is equal to 5. That means point A is 5 comma 0. So that will be somewhere here, let's say. Uh, that is point A, 5 comma 0. And we know that the y-intercept of this line is negative 10. That means it crosses the y-axis at 0 comma negative 10. OK, so I'm just assuming that maybe negative 10 is here. So this point, 0 comma negative 10 is the y-intercept. Now let's draw line L2 passing through these two points. So that's not to scale. So this is the line L2. So we successfully found point A. We have drawn line L2. And the next thing that we are given with is that line L2 intersect the straight line with equation x equals to negative 3. So that means we need to draw another line which has equation x is equal to negative 3. So if negative 3 is somewhere here, there is a straight line passing through that point. And that's your x is equal to negative 3 line. So that line is x equals to negative 3. And it intersects line L2 at some point B. So that's your point B. For point B, we already know what is the value of x. x is negative 3. So I'll just say negative 3 and comma some value of y. We can find the value of y if we plug in x equals to negative 3 in this equation, correct? So if we substitute x is equal to negative 3 in this equation, we get y is equal to 2 times negative 3 minus 10. And that gives you negative 6 minus 10, which is negative 16. That means point B is negative 3 comma negative 16. We are done with almost all the pointers given in the question. The next thing is to find the area of triangle AOB. So we have point A, we have point B, we have point O. Let's join BO to get the triangle. So if we join BO, so we're looking at this triangle AOB. And we want to find the area of this triangle. To find the area of triangle, we can use different methods by using sine rule, cosine rule, or by using the direct formula half times base times height. So if we know the height of this triangle and the base of this triangle, we can find the area very easily. I will be using the formula half times base times height. 
And before we do that, I will explain a little concept that will help you to understand it better. So here I have drawn a triangle ABC in which I'm considering the base of this triangle as AB. And the vertex of this triangle is at C. So the height of the triangle is always the distance between the vertex and the base. And that is the perpendicular distance. So if you are coming from point C perpendicularly to the base, that height is the height of the triangle. And this height can be outside of the triangle as well. Okay. That means the height of the triangle is this here, because this is a line perpendicular to the base, if you extend the base. And that's the height between the vertex and the extended base. Similarly here in triangle AOB, if we consider the base as OA, which we know is five, and the height, this blue line that you see, from this point B to B. That's the distance between the base, extended base, and the vertex of this triangle. And that distance is nothing but the Y coordinate of point B, and that's 16. So the area of triangle is half times the base, which is five times the distance between point P and point B, which is the Y coordinate of point B, which is 16. And here we're talking about length. So we will not consider the negative sign. So that is 16. And if you solve that, you'll get the answer as 40 square units. And that's the area of triangle AOB.